Good afternoon, it's February the 4th, uh, Friday, it's about 3 o'clock. The weather has deteriorated really badly there. Um, temperature this morning was about 1 degree and we had snow. But we're up on Larn and this is one of Larn's main streets. And we had a very nice sandwich, panini and stuff over in this wee uh, coffee house, Aroma. But there's a nice piece of uh, street art here. Don't know who this guy was. He obviously connected to Larn and there's the Black Arch on the coast road. And this is very nice. It's done it's obviously um, it's the local port. I don't know. Nicely done. And uh, there's a tag name here. And it's D. Now Lauren is uh, full of surprises. Look at this. It's interesting the uh, gable wall of that building there. Obviously it was in limestone before and it has been uh, fixed up with more modern brick. And this is an interesting building on the right hand side, coming up along Main Street in Larne. The white turreted building. And I'm thinking that this is Art Deco. And I'm thinking that this may, I'm just guessing, I'm just guessing that this may have been at one time a cinema. It's nice back savers. I wish that bus would move on out of the road so I could get a proper view of it. This is brilliant across the street here. Uh, sort of educational notice boards about ancient times in Larn. And this is the story of an old woman named Jane Park, well known to most residents of the neighbourhood. And you can read her story here. Well, sad. This is this. This was, this was Jane, and she's in bare feet, and this is where she lived. An Irish Dulles cellar and her seaweed thatched cabin, Antrim Coast Road. And she was swept away, drowned in a storm in 1894. And there's a full account of her life. Born around 1823. It's actually James' daughter was born 1859 when she married Andrew Armstrong. And she had grandchildren. She was quiet and stubborn and entrepreneurial, always be remembered. 
and there was a poem written about her, which is down underneath. And it was written by W. Clark Robinson, maybe that's the poet. That there's a, a piece of street art with a port port's picture up on in the main street here. And here are the main sites and signs or sites in and around uh, the loop of Larn. We've got the Barbican Castle Gate at Glen Arm. We've got Larn Standing Stone at Salic Hills. We've got the legendary chestnut tree associated with the Spanish Armada at a church with links to Gulliver's Travel, and that's number 12. So, or no, it's not, it's the Armada tree. We've got Kilwater Castle designed by John Nash of Buckingham Palace fame. We've got Glenow Waterfall, which I have videoed. We've got the grave of weaver poet James Orr. We've got the famous uh, Black Arch on the coast road. And we've got the Polar Bear Rock at Scenic Valley, the Galley Village. And somebody's painted a Polar Bear face on it. And in Lara itself, we've got the uh, workhouse dating from 1842. We've got Larn Museum and Art Centre. We've got one of the oldest churches in Ireland. The church was listed in papal taxation records of 1306 and was used as a place of refuge for Protestants in the rebellion of 1641. The north wall is the Leper Squint. Lepers Lepers, lepers had to listen to the service from outside. It's not interesting, there were lepers in, in Ireland. And we've got the town hall, which I videoed earlier. They're built in French Gothic style, 1870, and paid for by benefactor Charles McGarrell. We've got Drummelis House, owned by the Sisters of the Cross and Passion, 1872, by Sir Hugh Smiley on the grounds of the ancient prairie. The house will also play a major gun-running uh, role of 1914. It's now used by a as a silent retreat. And then we've got the, the James Chain uh, lighthouse. Round Tower was once used as a lighthouse. And here you can see to the Maiden Lighthouses. And then we've got the remains of a tower house dating from 1612 named Old Fleet, comes from the Viking name Larn for Larn Lock, Bill Freckles Ford. It's likely there was a Viking castle at the same spot, approximately 950, and that's, that's Larn. That's very, very interesting. This is a painting by Kim Montgomery depicting the Battle of Larne from 1018. Born in Belfast, but having recently moved to Larne, artist Kim Montgomery created artwork inspired by Larne's Viking past. Her painting depicts the Battle of Lothania, Larne, where Connor King of Ireland defeated the Orkney Vikings at Ulfrex Ford, Viking name for Larne as Safe Harbour. They called the area that, and this gives us the local name of Old Fleet today. Archaeologists found Viking burial sites and artifacts in this area dating to that area. And there's our painting, and jolly good it is too. And this is the uh, town hall. Nice sandstone, I believe. Let's get over here. Kind of long clock tower.
know nothing about it. There isn't a there isn't an education board or anything like that. Up at it. But the Ulster Bank's 1931, so I presume that this town hall was predated by about 60 years. Not quite, a, quite sure what uh, kind of style of architecture this would be. It's almost verging on Gothic. It's very nice. Love the clock tower. And even though the sun is shining, it is actually Baltic. The temperature is about three. There's a nice couple of archways, doorways. Inscribed. Trying to read this. I can't read that. I can't work out what that's saying. 1870. just up from Larne Town Hall and I have never really come across a staircase like this. It's not class. It's uh, done in mosaic. I think that's brilliant. We're looking over at uh, Larne Museum and Art Centre. I'd love to go in and have a wee Jeff Duke, but I'm afraid I haven't got the time. A nice bit of uh, nice sculpt sculpture here. Go over and have a wee, de wee deco. Fabulous. This is like there's lettering all up and down it. And the band's made of lettering as well. well. It's a pony and trap, obviously. And what does it say? Here to greet the, the strangers who come from near and far, enjoying all the sights and sounds around this jaunting car. And there's no name, no artist on it. Unfortunately. I could come back to, to Larne and I could spend at least three or four hours standing around. There's a lot to see, but most people just head to the port and jump on the ferry. <laughs> <laughs> 